Hi everyone, it's Saturday and it is tutorial time and um, so I'm just going to get started on that. I have my veil primer from Hourglass I'm going to start with and I like this because it, it serves two purposes, T-zone and eyes. I love this for eyes. It's the best primer on the market, I swear. Awesome stuff. Okay, so that was the Veil Primer. Next, I will do my foundation, and I haven't given this a lot of thought, so bear with me a sec. Um, I think I will use, there was something I was thinking of showing you. I don't know. I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow. I am going to put it on a flat surface and use a brush, although this foundation does not require a brush. This is a great fall color for me. It's just light enough. This is Mont Blanc. Um, I'm going to try to set everything aside so I can remember to list it at the end of the video. But. Okay, so I like to just buff that in. This is a F84 from Sigma. But I also like the Urban Decay brush. And I like the Everyday Minerals Flat Top Kabuki brush. So that was that brush. Um, and then I'm going to take my mirror, put that here. Then I'm going to take my Boots Concealer in the color Fair and get in here in any spots, but I don't, I'm not seeing a lot of spots today. Ooh, it's a good thing. All right. Next, I have something I'm trying out. Um, it was sent to me by beautychoice.com, which is a website I really love. And it's called the Rodeal, Ro Rodeal, I think, Roda, I think, it looks like this, Rodeal. And this is Eye Brightening Concealer Glam Tox Eye Pen. So, see, I'm just going to use this to cover the darkness, which is quite bad today because I have allergies and a lack of sleep. use this. Well, actually, I think I'm going to just try it with my finger and just see how it blends. So it's really light, so it gives kind of, I don't know if you're going to know what I mean, but sort of the Kim Kardashian effect, which kind of you just sort of take down here for some brightness. I don't know if you can see what I mean, but it's really smooth and it goes on really nicely. So, so there's that. Um, yeah, so it's face. I will use, I've been using this a lot, the NARS Loose Powder in the color Flesh. And I'm going to use a brush. This is something I got recently and I'm totally in love with. This is the Urban Decay Powder Brush. It's really nice. And it, cleans up really nicely. Now because I just put on a liquid foundation I'm basically just sort of tapping this onto my skin. I'm not buffing anything. I'm just tapping it on top. Urban Decay's brushes are vegan and you know obviously it means synthetic but super soft so that's what it looks like. All right. Um, so that's powder. Too Faced bronzer. The best bronzer ever. Milk chocolate. Soleil. Just gonna take it up here. Down the neck. This brush is another awesome brush. This is from Cowgirl Dirt, which is a natural line. This is also the synthetic. They're very similar in size. So I love them both. Okay. Next I'm going to reach for my doll face blush from Tarte. It's my very favorite. And 
the Sigma Paris Large Angled Contour Brush. And just right there. Okay. And I'll just buff it in with the Urban Decay brush. Okay. My son sounds like a hyena down there. I think he's watching a video or something. Okay. So that's face. That was easy, right? Next, next goes eyes. And this is one reason I'm making this video today. I got something last night. No buy is over. It is not yet October 1st, but I just got, honestly, I just got bored. I got this palette. I had been thinking about it. I mentioned it in a past video. It is the Return to Sexy palette from, Return of Sexy, pardon me, from Too Faced. And it looks like this. I'm really excited about this. And this is what it looks like. Look at those colors. Very pretty and sparkly and shimmery and quite awesome. So I'm really excited. And what kind of got me to a point where I kept thinking about it, going, ooh, should I go back and get it? I really kind of want it, was this section in the center with these purples. And I just thought... You know, it's kind of a little bit, oh, there goes the mirror. Something I don't normally use, but I think I'd like to. So what I'm gonna do is a purple look today. Um, before I do that, I'm going to do brows because I keep glancing at them, thinking I look naked. Look like I'm not quite dressed. So I'm using the Illamasqua brow powder in motto and I really love this um, brow product. The Sephora where I um, frequent, which is right by my house, a dangerous place for it. Luckily the parking is kind of crappy so I don't go there too often. Um, Basically, they don't have Illamasqua, so I have to order this, but I will order it again and again. And I was telling the gentleman working there last night, Bry, I told Bry that they really need to get Illamasqua, and he agreed with me. So I'm sure that between Bry and I, we'll get Illamasqua in no time. But that'd be cool if we did, I'm just saying. Okay, so I am going to start with... In fact, I'm going to take a MAC 239 brush. looks like that. Everyone knows what that looks like. But I'm going to start this look with this very shimmery purple in the large pan on this palette. And I'm just going to place that in the center. Maybe I should zoom a little. Okay. This palette is a good mirror, so that's nice. So I'm going to put it right in the center. I have hazily green eyes, and I think that purples really play that up. So that's kind of fun. Okay. Next, I'm going to take the darkest of the purples, this one, on either side of that after I kind of wipe it off on this rag. right there and right there and kind of blend it. Okay. After I'm done with this video and I upload it and whatnot, I'm going to go get my mother at the airport today. So that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's how that's starting to look. What I'm going to do next is take a clean E35 brush, which is a fluffy dome brush, and just kind of blend, blend that a little bit better. What I want is the brightest effect in the center of the lid. Hopefully that makes sense. Wow, these are shimmery, I like it. I know, I really am supposedly too old for this, but I tell you what, I don't care. 
What is the world with no shimmer? That's a very sad place. Okay. So I like the way that's blended, but I think I will take the the lighter of the colors and just sort of just go over that once again with the lighter color. Same with this side. And right there. Okay. So that's how that's starting to look. Next I will take a Here's kind of a tiny brush. What is this called? Accent brush from uh, Real Techniques. And I will take that darker purple again and take it under the lower lash line. Just like that. Just basically to where my pupil is, okay? All right, so I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit and take this shimmery lavender, light lavender, extremely light lavender, tap it off, and I'm going to take that right here. Oh wow, that's not very pigmented at all, is it? Kind of chalky. I'm not real excited about that color, but the rest so far has been good. <laughs> All right, so that's how that's starting to come together. Now I'm going to take. There's this brush I really, really love, and I've been using a lot. All oh, these are dirty. Darn. Wrong container. Hmm. Sorry. All right, well, I'm not finding it. It was uh, one like this, but this is dirty. All right, so what I'm going to take is this. This um, is just a pencil brush, basically, kind of larger than average. And I'm going to take the taupe in the center of this purple palette here and just kind of take that into the crease and try to blend it up. It is also shimmery, but but that's okay. I saw Lisa SE09's review of this, and you know she said it was kind of really, really shimmery, and I was kind of on the fence, but it's so pretty. I'm really glad I got it. Okay, so that's how that's looking so far. So next I am going to take the Lorac Pro palette and find a color that is not shimmering, most likely this color cream, and this brush from Sigma, which is a tapered blending E40 brush, and I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlight because I really need a little matte. But Okay, just kind of blend that edge. Okay, so that's a lot less harsh, I think. Okay, so I'm going to now take a Q-tip and just sort of clean up this edge. Same thing on that side, okay? So that's, oops, I moved the trash. <laughs> All right, so that's basically how I'm doing that. There is a pencil in here, but I don't wanna bother with it. I'm just gonna use what I know works, and that is the Urban Decay Perversion that's in front of me. And as always, I am going to do the waterline. And the upper lash line. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take this little detailing brush again and the sexy palette. Oh goodness. And I think the purple and the square. I'm just kind of run this over it and smudge that a little. So that's how that's looking so far. Next I will take my uh, Benefit Their Real Mascara, which has quickly become my favorite. And just do a couple coats. I'm going to be moving the vanity where I'm sitting right now back there and I'm hoping for a better lighting effect so I can do more tutorials if you're interested. I just feel like the background over here is so crappy that it's kind of like uh, I don't know if I want to bother with the tutorial but I want to shake it up a bit and do some different stuff so I'm going to move the vanity tomorrow. Um, that really means my husband and son are going to help me move it, but... <laughs> okay. So that's how that looks now. Yes, I have wet hair. Please ignore. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do is take some sellout, which is from um, Urban Decay. And this is kind of a weird little brush, and just sort of put it in the inner corners. This is a goofy brush I got at Sally's a long time ago. It's called Simply Simmons Angle Shader. Okay. So that's everything there. Now I'm going to take the Hourglass lipstick in the color Fable. It's a nice nude. And I will top that with the Dior um, Attic Gloss in pink, sorry. This is a little warm. The eyes are obviously very purple, so I was thinking that would be a nice contrast. All right, so I hope that was enjoyable and fun, and I certainly had a good time playing with this palette. I think tomorrow I will do a different type of color scheme. Maybe this, well, there's this more neutral one, and and this one is also on the neutral side of things with silvers and, and black. I think this is going to be a really fun thing to have, and I'm glad I got it. Um, <laughs> I did hem and haw about it. I thought about it several times. I was like, oh, I don't really need any more eyeshadow, but it th I think it's going to be fun. So anyway, I hope you're having a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.